This week, your writing prompt is a persuasive paragraph on what age kids should be allowed to have a cell phone. So today is brainstorming. I want you to think right now what age you think children should be allowed to have a cell phone. And if you're one of my third graders, you may be thinking your age right now, right? So you're going to put your age. But I want you to brainstorm all the reasons why you need a cell phone. We know you want it. So if you want to be persuasive and um, get the person you want to buy you a cell phone to think you should be able to have one, you better give really good reasons why you need a cell phone, not want a cell phone. So if you want to be persuasive, you want to hit the needs. So you could maybe brainstorm today need, your needs for a cell phone, and you want to you want to grab that attention and make your points valid. So you don't want to say, so I can play Fortnite. No, because that's not going to get the adult to want to buy you a cell phone. So you're going to have to come up with the really good needs for a cell phone. So needs in life, right? Safety. So how can a cell phone help you with safety? Um, needs in life are food and water which a cell phone's not gonna get you food and water unless you're talking about ordering it. Then you wanna think about shelter, that's safety. Then what other things do your parents need you to be able to do? So what other needs besides the core needs like safety do you need a cell phone for? Think about all the reasons today, brainstorm, just list. Just list all the reasons why you believe you should have a cell phone. And then we will talk tomorrow about how to start making this a rough draft and how to counteract. You want to be able to counteract in a persuasive essay the other side, right? So for every reason you want a cell phone, think of the reason why somebody would say no and then see how you can counteract that reason. So today, right now, you're brainstorming really simple. Just make a list needs for your cell phone. And you can also start thinking about why someone would say no to one of your needs. And that will help you. Hopefully you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.